Hi guys, welcome to today's unboxing. Today we will be unboxing and reviewing these brushes by Art Essentials. I have two flat brushes over here, which are of the size 6 and size 8. And I also have some round brushes over here, ranging from the size 4, 6, 8 and 10. Um, so this also says Hindustan over here because that's the company from which I bought it. I will uh, share a link in the description so you can check that out. So it is still from uh, the original makers. It's from Sri Lanka. It's got Oster Synthetic. And this is a very interesting um, set because I have tried their size 0 before and I absolutely love it. I will uh, show you guys that also. This has been something that I've been using for a while, which is why I decided to get the rest of the uh, brushes. So today I'm going to unbox them and we are going to see how uh, these fare. We will first review these flat brushes. So I'm going to just cut them out. You can see that there's a slight difference in terms of the packaging of the flat brushes and the round brushes. The round brushes come with a cap on top of them like this but the flat brushes come uh, packed this way so this is the size 6 and now i'm going to do size 4. if you notice most of the brands will have um, this difference in terms of the sizes not all the brands uh, will have the same across everything for example you will not find size uh, 6 of um, art essentials to match the size 6 flat brush of let's say silver brush or even uh, Princeton. So everything is going to be very different. So it's important for you to go see these brushes, figure out what uh, size works for you and what does not. So I'm going to give a small demo with uh, the size 6 and size 8 and using some watercolor paints. So here I have like a couple of ones. And currently I have right now size 6. Um, I have noticed definitely that uh, the color of the bristles will definitely change. So don't get worried if it um, changes when you are using them. So here I have is a size 6. To hold it looks pretty nice. I love the color of it. Let's see how the paint stays. It seems pretty good so far. It does not hold a lot of water which is good especially if you're going to do mediums like uh, acrylics or if you're going to do gouache for watercolors i think this is perfect for when you're doing really tiny sizes it's pretty good i am now going to shift to a size 8 before that i'm going to show you how uh, if it has a little stain it does have a little bit of stain but this also depends on the kind of um, brand of the paint you're using so don't get worried if there's a little bit of stain it's completely fine to have that so now we are moving to size 8 and i'm going to try the same color and show you so this is our size 8 and I'll again put probably a line of size 6 next to it. So this is how size 6 is. I think it seems pretty nice. Like I said, it holds a little less water, which is perfect for the size and the purpose that you might use this for. So if these are the round brushes of size 6 and size 8. I'm now going to shift to our round brushes. I'm um, sorry, the earlier ones were flat brushes. Uh, <laughs> now is our round brushes. So whenever you get new brushes, you will notice that the tip is pretty stiff. They also look like uh, they won't bend. It's because you'll have like this glue which just keeps all the bristles together. So don't get worried if your brushes come this way. All you need to do is just dip them once in water and you'll notice that they become perfectly all right after that. So we'll start off with a size 4 and then we'll move progressively that way. So I'm taking now a size 4 and we'll try a similar color and we'll see how the size 4 is. So this is my size 4. I love how the way it bends. I think it's absolutely perfect if you have to do leaves, if you have to do small plants, florals. Absolutely nice. Very, very beautiful. And now moving on to size 6. Dip it in water once and then you'll notice that all the gum comes off and then you dip it off into your brush. So size 6. So 
so you can make really thin lines you can make fat lines you can make it sleep broad lines so if i have to make leaves or florals with it it's very easy i would highly recommend this um if you are somebody who's into watercolors i think these are pretty amazing for that i'm now moving to a size 8 yes it stains it could also be because of my paint so like i said don't worry if it stains this is now a size 8 i love the feel of it i like how um you can hold it it's pretty easy on your hand and it feels really good and for the price that it comes in i think it's a brilliant buy uh these are all in the ranges um i i can see that they've written them over here this is size 10 this is for 345 i will leave the link in um of all of these brushes in the description box so you can figure out where you want to pick them out from and now we are going to try size 10 this holds quite a good amount of water which is perfect if you're doing like a big painting if you need to fill up spaces for example if i need to do the same filling it's so easy to do it with this brush so from me it is a definite big thumbs up for um, art essentials i've always been a fan um like i said i was using size 0 first so i'll just give you one last demo of the size 0 so you will know how that size fares along with this so I'm just going to leave some. I could not find size two, which is why I don't have that in my collection. But that's fine. Um, I could always like wait and get them. So size zero is perfect if I want to do like thin lines and other details. So like I said, a big thumbs up from me for getting these brushes. You get them in flat. range you also get them in round range pick the ones that work for you if you are a beginner and you're not sure which one size to go for first always pick a size 6 it's one of the safest sizes to buy and it's something that's going to be pretty useful for you so this particular one i got it for 205 uh this is an indian rupees you can um, check if you can get it somewhere else for cheaper or if you can uh manage to get in bulk that that's completely up to you um figure out where uh, what works best for you So try out, try these out, and do leave a comment um, if you found them useful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of videos out there in terms of unboxing, reviewing, and also tutorials. Thank you.